Hi, this is Money from uh, BSC2NSE.com. So in this video, um, I'm purely going to discuss about um, what is the realistic gains that um, a trader or an investor uh, can make in stock market. And the reason being that a lot of people who start in the stock market, they chase after unrealistic gains. Uh, they watch some graphs wherein the stock goes exponentially high or uh, exponentially down and uh, they always try and uh, go in search of trades where they can make uh, uh, multi-bagger returns in one trade. Um, so with long term investing uh, that is fine but when it, when it comes to trading trying to make uh, uh, each trade a multi-bagger trade is um, such a wrong thing and uh, I'll tell you why and assuming one has a capital of 1 lakh rupees to start with for trading or investment and if you can make 60% returns consistently for a period of 40 years consistently for a period of 20 years and consistently for a period of 10 years so this is the end uh, capital that you will end up with after the profits and when I say 1 lakh uh, it's a very much affordable capital for most of the retail traders themselves so when you think of 60% returns compounded over 40 years you will end up with uh, 14 lakh crores or close to 15 lakh crores or in other words in uh, US dollars it will be 250 billion USD so if you are able to achieve 60% returns every year and consistently for a period of 40 years at the end of the 40th year you will be one among the richest people in the world you will be in the Forbes uh, richest list and uh, the reason why I am saying is achieving 60% returns per year is um, itself is great but then a lot of people search for I want to make 100% um, returns every month or 50% returns every month so that's going to be highly difficult to be consistent at you can do it probably one odd month in a year but then rest of the months you're gonna you're gonna be looking for an unrealistic gain and then eventually you'll make losses uh, rather than going for realistic profitable trades you're, you are in search of uh, profits which are actually not there so and just to show this calculation in the calculator you can do this yourself let's say if you are looking at 60% returns then you put 1.6 and then x to the power y and then for 40 years so you put 40 so this is in terms of number of lakhs that you will end up with divided divide this number by 100 you will get it in crores so you'll end up with 14 lakh crores or 14 and a half lakh crores so this is the number that you see you can do these calculations yourself and assuming you start with 1 lakh capital and you don't need to uh, bring in fresh funds after this and if you do this for a period of 20 years uh, you will end up with 121 crores so which is also a very big amount and if you do it for a period of 10 years consistently uh, you will end up with 1 crore the other perspective of thought process is let's say you make 60% uh, returns in 40 trades consecutively and assuming you do that within a space of like uh, 3 months or even 1 year uh, by the end of 1 year you can be the richest man in the world so the reason why somebody has already not done it is because uh, it's virtually that much more difficult to be consistent um, so uh, and again most people lose in the stock market because they chase after unrealistic gains uh, they uh, listen to stories and uh, they watch charts uh, which have gone up exponentially they take one among a million cases wherein uh, some stock uh, went up uh, in a big manner and they try to find which is the next stock which is going to give me that kind of a return so that's where people make a mistake um, the reason I've put 60% here is that um, with long term investing in the stock market you can achieve something like 20% to 30% uh, Warren Buffett achieved that for a period of 40 years with futures uh, you get extra leverage up to 10 times of course you should not use all the 10 times leverage uh, you should have sufficient cash for downside MTM as well 
so assuming you do it in futures you can achieve you can try and achieve 60 percent returns so if you are consistent at that then you can be a successful trader so uh, the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of traders who are coming into the stock market uh, they look for unrealistic gains uh, they look for huge gains which they think are small and uh, they end up uh, not booking profits and uh, eventually making losses so let's see uh, in a year uh, if you're gonna make 30% returns as a long-term investor so this is what you can end up with at the end of 40 years and 20 years and 10 years so let's see what does this translate to so when I say yearly 60% it means on a monthly basis it's almost like 5% so if you have a strategy which is relatively uh, lower risk and can get you 5% returns a month um, that is as good as 60% a year so and again intraday if you're gonna if you you should ideally target lower uh, profits and you should not look for huge amounts of profits so if you target a 1% return in a in, in intraday then there are 20 working days in a month so you can actually target 20% a month and again you may not be able to achieve 20% because if you uh, have an accuracy of say um, accuracy of around 60% uh, in this strategy so uh, you will probably end up again with 5% uh, returns a month so uh, in my view um, you rather than chasing after unrealistic gains or chasing after one trade where you can make big money uh, chase after consistency wherein uh, you find a relatively safer strategy uh, which will work for you time and again uh, because you need to be consistent uh, if you look at most of the traders Warren Buffett or Junjinwala or people who made money and who have sustained uh, that profit uh, those are traders who have been really careful and uh, who've been uh, looking for consistent trades rather than one big trade uh, yes Junjunwala and uh, Warren Buffett could have made uh, some investments which became big but I think they've always been cautious about not making losses and uh, uh, not eroding their capital and as traders I believe uh, in Indian markets a lot of traders lose money because uh, we are chasing after more than this amount of returns wherein in intraday people talk about I want to make 5% returns every day so that's exceedingly too high and you're gonna end up losing to another trader who's more patient and uh, who has a realistic target in mind and remember that always a realistic trader uh, a trader with real realistic gains is going to win and a trader with unrealistic gains is gonna lose money to him so as usual uh, any comments anything post on this video and uh, that's it for now thank you bye bye